adding text to files or redirects. Um, here we will learn how can we add a text or digits or letters or how can you populate an empty file. We created some of the empty files using touch command and touch is just a, a way to create an empty file but now how can we add text to those files or anything that you, you would like to add to it. There are three simple ways to add text to a file and the basic main uh, ways to add uh, text to files. The first one is through the VI editor. VI is the editor, it's a command that is used in Linux to create a file and add text messages to it. Then the next one is redirect command output using the the right direct and the two right directs to a file. And in this lesson we'll cover the, these redirects through a, a command output into a file and the second way we will learn through echo. When you wanted to echo whatever that you type you could output to a file that's how the file gets created or that's how the file get populated with information so let's look at uh, on our Linux machine and run these commands so here we have our Linux machine let's make sure we are in our home directory yes we are in our home directory let's clear the screen and let's check what are the different files we have in our home directory. Okay, we have all those uh, different files and directories that we created earlier. Now we wanted to add something to a file, uh, any empty file, because if you see here, these are the few files that we added, and all of them have zero bytes in it, because these are empty files. So when you wanted to do echo, and you type hi my name is Imran and you hit enter it brings you back the exact same thing that you type so the command echo actually echoes back what you shouted out so how about if we output this to a file so I will say let's say echo Jerry Seinfeld is the main character in the show Seinfeld. So this is the text that I wanted to type. I wanted to add into the file called Jerry. And how are we going to do it? We're going to do it by redirecting the redirect, which is a key right above your um the dot you type that with the shift and then you specify the name of the file which is Jerry hit enter you'll get your prompt back now when you do LS minus L and you hit enter you're gonna see Jerry has 58 bytes inside of that file now all other files are zero because we didn't put anything in there now that's good we added something to our first file this is amazing okay now how do we know what's inside of this file how do we check it how do we verify it we do know that uh, the CD gets into our uh, directory ls lists all the files and PWD tells us where we are but how are we gonna see what's inside of directory in Windows how do you do it how do you open up a file well you do a double click and it opens up in Linux there is no double click then how do you do it there is a command called cat cat is a command to read the content of a file we'll cover the com the cat command a little more in detail in the next lessons but for now that we want to know what's inside of the file we will use the command cat followed by the the name of the file which is Jerry when you hit enter and there you see you have Jerry Seinfeld is the main character in the show Seinfeld. Now this is what we typed right here in our echo. And we outputted that to a file called Jerry. Now what happened if we do echo 
and do and, and we wanted to type another line in that same file so let's say um, Jerry show was created in 1989 and you output to a file Jerry now remember why we are using two output arrows here is because if you use one arrow like this it will overwrite your last file and remove this line that we added into this file you will remove this line and create a new file with the content of this Jerry show was created in 1989 now we don't want it to remove it we don't we want it to keep this line the first line and we want to add a second line if you want to add a second line then you need to use the double redirect signs when you do that and hit enter how do you verify it what's inside or whether whether it went inside the file or not again I want you to use up arrow key twice because that's the the first up arrow key brings you the last command the second time you hit up arrow key brings you the command to cat the Jerry file hit enter and there you go now you have two file two lines in your file when you do ls minus l last time we have 58 bytes now we have 89 bytes because the file is keep growing now this is the simple way to add contents to a file if we running the same command again there you go Jerry Seinfeld is the main character in the show if you take out that and we just do Jerry Seinfeld is the main character right and now we wanted to use one redirect and we wanted to redirect to Jerry now remember this it will wipe out all the contents of the file Jerry basically it will wipe out the entire file Jerry recreate the file with the new text message text that I am typing here try it let's say hit enter do cat Jerry enter and there you go Jerry Seinfeld is the main character it does not have all the typings that we did earlier it took the the latest one the latest typing the latest echo we did in the file and it added into the Jerry file the same way I want you to add a few things about anything that you know about these characters by the way these characters are actually taken from those um, hit shows American hit shows of Seinfeld Simpsons and of course the main uh, movie Superman um, if you know a little bit about any of these characters please do right inside of these file with using the echo command and this would be a very good exercise for you how you could populate each file with different things that you know about Again, remember, if you do one single output, that will overwrite the file. If you do double, that will append to the file. Okay, now this is about echo. What if you wanted to do, let's create a new file called touch. And uh, this time we'll call it um, listing of file. No, listing of directory. Let's say we call this, right? You hit enter, verify the file is created. Yes, listing of dir. It's just the name I picked. You could pick any name. Now, how do I populate that file with whatever, whatever I wanted to type in? Of course, you know that the way you could do it is through echo and whatever you want to type and output to a file. But now, I want to show you a second way that you could populate through the output of a command which is if I do ls minus l hit enter or ls minus ltr let's say which brings me the latest one at the bottom I wanted to have this entire output starting from here to here I wanted to output this entire out entire result of my ls minus ltr into the file I created listing of directory so we will do ls minus ltr output 
to listing hit tab it auto completes your file and now you hit enter you see what just happened it is it did not give you the output of ls minus ltr on your screen what it did instead of giving you on the screen it is outputting to a file you call listing of directory now ls minus ltr shows you that the total number of bytes this file has is 1140 okay per awesome now what's inside of this direct of this file you could check by typing the command cat listing or tab and hit enter you see guys it's a same output that you have as you would have it on this one the only difference that you see this output gives you a different color because it is actually running the command whereas this output cat of this listing is just the simple text messages text inside of a file you could change it you could update it whatever you want it to do uh, if you want to do date and you want to append that date by the way the output of date is today's date and if you want to append that to the file uh, Jerry hit enter now verify it Jerry you see the, it has the first line that we type through echo command and then it has the second line that we got it from the date so this these two funny characters the output two outputs appends to your existing file and does not delete your file so again these are the two ways that we learn one through the echo and redirecting and one through the output of a command and redirecting to a file and of course there's another way is a vi that we'll cover later in the lessons but now right now you have to practice these two ways of adding or appending to a file